Tally, and these are my point shoe hacks. So this is a brand new pair. These are J Makers. I wear size four double X DV wing block. So that means that the sides have extra glue in them, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I like to just warm it up in my hand a little bit to try and get it to be more moldable for my feet. And then here's the really satisfying part. Okay, so once I've broken them in and decided which ones are right and left, then I usually jet glue. I label them. It's a very tedious project trying to find the shoe that fits which foot. So I take my jet glue and I put it in the tip and then on the bottom and kind of like, I don't know if you can see, but like on the sides, because I feel like it gives more support, especially depending on the maker, this part can actually get squishy when you're on point and so that becomes a little uncomfortable. Here's a very old pair and I try to reuse my elastics and my ribbons. This is the really tedious project of cutting them all off. Okay, so now you're ready to sew. I use yarn to sew my point shoes because I find that it's stronger and I don't have to do as many stitches and it lasts. So that's really nice. Someone taught me that if you put like a finger from this seam, that that's perfect. But I actually like to do maybe two fingers. So two fingers on each side. And then on the outside of that, that's where I will sew my elastic. And it's really easy now that we've reused them because there's holes perfect. You don't have to measure. The most important thing about your ribbon is just making sure it fits your foot and that you're supporting your arches. I think you really just have to look at your foot. So if your arch is, you find your arch and then you sew the ribbon right there so it'll pull up your arch. Okay, first of all, getting elastic ribbon is life-changing and then putting it in a loop saves so much time. I will be honest, I was a hater and did not believe in elastic ribbon because I was like, I really like how it's satin and shiny and like you get to like, tie it. And this is just so much better. It's stretchy, so it's better on your tendons and you can get your point shoes on and off so much faster. This is kind of gross, but I reuse my bunion, like, or corn pads because it's so hard to tape them every day. And I've found that they actually just keep sticking to my feet. I don't know why, but they do. That's really all I do for like taping my toes. So I find the front and I, yes, I know which is the top and the bottom of this corn pad. And then I put my perfect fits on. They're a little discolored. I've also taped over the top because there was some minor rips. Also, I really like to put sore muscle balm on my shins. You can see it's well loved. Um, I don't know why, but I kind of just like, like a minty feeling on my shins before class. A lot of people put rosin on their heel. If you put your tights under your point shoes, because it's just a better grip. But I've ripped my tights, which I don't think my mom would be too happy about, but I've ripped my tights so that I can have more of the friction so this part stays up. I mean, I definitely think the little girl inside of me is like, yay, every single day when I go to class. Um, and it's especially important to have new shoes at SAB because all of our classes are on point. It's such a relief when my point shoes come on Fridays because I know I'm gonna be prepared for the next week ahead of me. By giving to the SAB Point Shoe Fund, you can help me and my friends stay on our toes.